Success Insight shares the stories of the people with passion and drive who make things happen in the world. Here's your host, Howard Fox. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Success Insight Podcast. Today's guest is Andre Martin. And we all know when Andre is joining us on Success Insight Podcast, it is Mindset Monday. Now, Andre is your leadership mindset and golf performance coach. Andre is a LPGA Class A Life member, a nationally recognized top 50 golf teacher and expert, and a member of the Maine Golf Hall of Fame, recognizing golf's value as a business tool. In today's competitive marketplace, Andre works with individuals, groups, corporate, or organizational clients to create educational and team-building programs that enhance the professional success of aspiring executives. Andre Martin, welcome back to the Success Insight Podcast. Thank you, Howard. Always great to be back here with you. And we're off to another start of going for goals with better golf and better business. Fantastic. And since it is Mindset Monday, what's in store for us today? Our topic for today is what and when is the mental game? So what and when is the mental game? I know the last episode... I kind of went off on a tangent on what I thought, think one shot ahead was. So I'm not going to go down that path again. I'm going to ask you. So Andre, tell us more about what and when is the mental game? Well, I get so many people say I'm mental. And then golfers as a whole will say, yeah, it's 90% mental. But yet they're always working on the 10% of the golf swing, the mechanics. And I thought today's conversation could be about what and when do we practice mental and what and when do we practice the technical aspects of the game and how do you turn it on and off? There's a lot of great books out there and we've got some incredible sports psychologists that are doing great, great things, but we need to have more meat and more understanding of, of how to manage our minds and manage our performance. And you and I have talked about that a lot in business, Howard, and I thought the audience could appreciate the interest and need for a wide focus, when do you dial it down and how do you shift into gear? So when you have a shot at hand and you're a higher handicap, your head is full of lots of mechanical thoughts. And it takes me to a new job that somebody has. And when you start a new job, there's all kinds of detail, protocol, You've got to get all your ducks in a row. You've got to learn your logins on the computer. You've got to learn all the different ways and means and protocol of how the culture works, how the conversation goes, and shifting into gear. For those that are seasoned professionals, how do we stay sharp? And that's exactly what tour players are constantly striving for. And I've got folks that are beginning and everybody in between And the one thing that people miss is the fun of the game and how to be playful. And when do we go mindless and how? So the swing itself, we've talked about the think box, go box, and we're going to have another episode that takes that up another notch coming up soon. But what and when is when we're in the middle of the shot and we've prepared ourselves so well, you just go. And the mind is truly clear and it's focused on ball to target. Where the interruption comes is when you're not trusting all that planning and preparation. And we've talked about that in many times with business. Planning and preparation creates success. Success is when preparedness meets opportunity. So I was getting a student of mine ready for a big amateur tournament that was coming up. And we were doing block practice and then random practice, and then we were playing holes. And I realized when we got into the random practice that we hadn't covered challenging shots. And so he was really excited and striking it great and said, oh, yeah, we're ready. And I said, great. So let's put it into action over here. And I went over into the rough and I dumped it in the rough and we had a downhill shot. I had to carve it around the trees to, to get to a target. And I said, cut it around this tree. And he just paused. He says, I only hit straight shots or draws. And and I said, go ahead, try it anyway. And he did. And I was like, oh, geez. Oh, geez. 
So now all of a sudden his mindset has shifted from, oh, great, I'm ready, to I put him in a stressful situation and he tried to create a shot that he wasn't prepared to execute. Well, we don't do that in business either, do we, Howard? We go with what we know and what is our shot that we are really good at, what our play to our strengths. So in the next instant, I dropped down another ball in that same situation. I said, okay, so now hit that straight shot. And he crushed it. I said, great. Now you know in this tournament, we're not going to play cuts. So if you're in a situation that calls you to hit a cut, what are you going to hit? And where are you going to position yourself since you're not going to play that cut? This might be an add-on to that think one shot at a time that we had in our last episode, because now he's going to play that straight shot. But if he doesn't want to get up on a mound or in that left-hand bunker, he might have to play one club short, but he's going to hit it straight. He's going to get himself back in play and hit a great solid shot out of the rough and position himself for that next one, possibly going into the hole and at most having a one putt. As I heard this example, my, my first thought was, you're going to teach him how to hit it out of the rough and make lemonade out of lemon. But in reality is don't go down that path of woe is me. I have to do something creative to get out of it. Go with what you should have already know. Go for the safety of that, that straight shot to then put you in a position of recovering. And that is for this particular individual. And this is where you and I have done some work on DISC. And there's a certain personality that's a real creative personality and can carve that shot. I wouldn't have gone there with that person. I would have had them carve it and gotten so sharp that they could hit it low, medium, high and carve it just 10 yards and then carve it 20 yards. That's a whole different player. This guy is a strategic planner and he knew the shots that he trusted And that's how he's going to play his best in this tournament. And that's preparedness. It's planning. It creates that mindless letting go because he's going to trust every shot and do it. So pursue the shots that that you trust and you know and you practice. And the same thing in the business world. Don't try to be creative if it's not your suit, not your personality or within your ability per se, or you don't have the team around you that can help do whatever this creativity requires, but realize where you're at and collectively as the leader and with your team, get out of that rough and put yourself in a position where you can continue to go on and succeed. And in addition, know when to and when not to. This is a day before a big three-day tournament. That's not a time to learn a new shot. You have prepared, you're ready, you know the shots you got to hit, you know what you got to execute, you know what you got to put out there. When you try the new shot, is in between the seasons. With this individual, just from curious, would you ever take him or her out on the course and teach them how to do that 10-yard cut, 20-yard cut? We actually have. So I knew going in what his brain wanted to execute and didn't want to execute. Okay. I purposefully put him in a stress position because I wanted to prepare him for this tournament. Okay. Just like we push our employees in a business situation, and then we find out, oh, when we've got a round peg in a square hole, what what strengths do they have where they can really support the team and help the entire team shine? Mm -hmm. And how do you identify that? And how do you then place them so that the entire team wins and improves the bottom line even more. Fantastic. Well, I am surprised of what this episode was about. What and when is the mental game? I I certainly have learned some lessons. I am reminded of some lessons I have learned when I tried to finesse something that I had no business trying to finesse and should have gone, this is what I know, and pursue that. And some other time, I'll work with Andre, and she'll teach me how to be that creative person. Just like you have helped me with LinkedIn and other aspects of my social media improvements, Howard, I know what I can do, and then I know when to get you to help support me on all those aspects. It's the same thing with golf. And it's it's an incredible metaphor that allows us to get out there and have a good time in the great fresh air. And I hope everybody learned something out of this episode. Thank you. 
My pleasure. Thank you. So, Andre, uh, before we do sign off, if our listeners would like to learn more about you and your work, where are the best places for them to go? Best places for them to go would be on my LinkedIn site, my webpage, andregolf.com. And I'm also on Facebook and YouTube at Andre Martin Golf. Fantastic. And we will most certainly put uh, backlinks to the sites, including your website, andregolf.com, uh, and YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn on our show notes. So thank you again. Uh, and we'll look forward to our next episode of Mindset Monday with you. My pleasure, Howard. All right, folks, we have just been chatting with Andre Martin, our leadership mindset and golf performance coach. And today's episode of Mindset Monday was what and when is the mental game? So very interesting episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Do let us know in the comments section of our website, successinsightpodcast.com or on our LinkedIn pages or our Facebook page, successinsightpodcast.com or our YouTube page. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you're getting from this whole topic around mindset and really this confluence between golf and the world of business. Hope you enjoyed the episode and we've got more in store for you. So folks, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, go out there, have a phenomenal day. We are still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. So wherever you are, be safe, take care of yourselves, your family, your loved one, be respectful, wear that mask and stay socially distanced, okay? And again, we'll see you on the next episode of the Success Insight Podcast. Take care now. Success Insight is a production of Fox Coaching and First Story Strategies. Find us online, successinsightpodcast.com.